Hey, to play trade on this will be a video chart on ticker symbol LEXG. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like a few weeks worth of time, it's actually just the past two days broken down into 30 minute time slices. I did this analysis yesterday, so that's where these red and green lines are coming from. And just quickly wanna get things updated here as we head into the weekend. Uh, and update, maybe probably not the best word, more so confirmation uh, based off the lines that I drew yesterday. Uh, but you know, I'll, I'll talk about and make a couple points about things. The first point and first kind of confirmation point is right here at this red line resistance 0075. Again, I realize this will mean a little bit more to those of you that watched the video from yesterday, uh, but still nonetheless, uh, you know, this is a level of resistance as I uh, talked about yesterday and it's been confirmed. The price got up above it this morning, but as you can see, that did not last long at all and the price went right back below it. So 0075, uh, there's definitely some sellers hanging out right around this area up here. I'm not saying that uh, you know that it's impossible for the price to break back up above it. I'm just saying that uh, apparently, according to the, the shorter term story here, uh, you know the bulls are going to have to bring their A game in order to push back up through 0075. So that'll be the initial area of resistance right there. And then of course after that you got 0095 up there, but uh, kind of pointless to talk about that level at this point in time until the price can get up above this uh, 0075 level of resistance. The other point of confirmation revolves around this green line here, which I drew yesterday and talked about as support. And that's at 0057. And you can see it did a fantastic job of holding as support today. Uh, you know, multiple times the bears kept trying to press down below it, uh, but the bulls did a good job of holding strong at that point. And then also now that we have another day under our belts, uh, the purple line here, which is the overall trend indicator, the famous 50 period something we're on average has instance Inch, inched its way up, there we go, and is now within the, the, the range of it. So, uh, you know, when Monday starts to unfold, that level will eventually get up there and be valued at 0057. Uh, but the key point here that I'm trying to drive home is that there's quite a bit of support and you wanna see a lot of support right around this area. And the reason that's so important from, you know, the big picture perspective is if that does indeed hold as support, then you'd have a set of lows right here. Where's the previous set of lows at? You know, down around this area previous set of lows down around that area. So if you picture each of these as stair steps, from the big picture perspective, the bulls would still be progressing in the upwards direction, and that is the name of the game. So all in all, sure today wasn't the most exciting day, but that's just one day. When you take a step back and look at multiple days, uh, the bulls still have a chance to put, put in a higher low, and that's how those long-term uptrends are built. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, by all means, click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good weekend.